Hello everyone, this is Chris, an instructor with Scuba Nights. Well, I'm sure we have all encountered problems during our dive trips when it comes to using regulators, whether it is our own or rented from the dive center. It is very frustrating, but at the same time, it is actually very avoidable. So, in this video, we are going to share some tips and tricks and tools of the trade that you could prepare yourself with in order to avoid these problems. Especially during this period where you are actually staying at home, you can just take out your gears and just do a quick check on them. From leaking gauges to free-flowing regulators, we as divers have all faced it before at some point in our diving career. So, we are going to touch on the first point which is sand. Do you ever had a time when you breathe into the regulator and there's just some sand coming out of it from previous shore dive that maybe you accidentally lost your balance and you were dragging your regulator along the sand bed? At times, a proper rinse doesn't cut it when it comes to really getting out the fine sand from your second stage. So here's a quick tip on how to actually get it out. So, so this this is a second stage and today we are actually using the Aquatec second stage. So for most second stages, what you do, you have to unscrew the cap. But some second stages, um, there might be a pin somewhere which you might have to remove before you can actually remove the top cover. So now I will remove the top cover. So once it is removed, you can actually see that there's a diaphragm here. So what this diaphragm is used for is actually to prevent water from going into your second stage. I'm sure most of you, you have had times where you use a rental regulator and there's water leaking into it. So, this is actually the guy. One, it could be sand around the diaphragm, allowing water to go in. Either that, or the diaphragm is actually broken. So what we'll do is, we just remove this together with the cover, we wash it, rinse, this, rinse the inside of this to clear off any sand or any salt sediments, and when you're done, you can easily just put it back. So you put it back. Just make sure that you don't lose, lose any parts and everything is back in. Otherwise, you might have a defective second stage. All right, so now, number two, another common problem that we always face is actually a leaking gauge. I'm sure a lot of you, especially when you're using rental regulators, you, what you experience is when you go underwater, you'll see bubbles coming out from your gauges. So actually, it might seem like a big thing. I have to replace the entire gauge. But in actual fact, for this, we can easily actually um, service this as well. So what we do, all right, for gauges with a cover, rubber cover around it, all right, you have to remove the rubber cover and inside what you will see is actually something like this. All right, so what you need for this is actually two adjustable wrenches. All right, so what I will do is, I will fit this here at the bottom, and then one at the top. Okay, for those regulators that you have been using for a long time, it might be a little bit difficult for you to open it, but you will need some strength. So I will open it. All right, I will just twist it until it's loose. And then I'll just, Screw it open. So we'll open up. We'll open this up, all right? So what you will see is actually this little thing here, this O-ring here is actually the key to a leaking gauge. So if you see here, all right, um, there could be various reasons. So the first thing you have to check is this O-ring. So there are a few things about the O-ring. It could be a worn out O-ring, like this one over here or it could be a flattened o-ring like this photo over here so if it needs to be replaced please do replace it and also sometimes just make sure that the inside of of the groove here they are clean so that there's no salt sediment and it's able to actually seal properly all right so make sure when you replace the o-ring this is actually a photo of a new o-ring which is nicely greased all right, and it's very new. It's not flattened or worn out. All right, so if you need to replace this, once you are done, you can actually put this back and you can test your gauge. Just make sure, remember, with the two wrenches, 
Just tighten it, but do not over tighten. All right. Make sure it is hand tight and you are good to go. So now on to our third point. All right. It will be back to the second stage. We have already known how to open up our second stage. So now I'll just remove this and the diaphragm. So what you will see is actually this lever. So you know whenever when you're underwater, you're purging, what you're actually pushing is actually this lever. All right. So sometimes you might have a free flowing regulator or sometimes maybe when you try to take in some air and then it, you feel like it's very restricted. So, how do you actually solve that? Basically, inside here, there is a nut. Alright, so what we do, if let's say you're having a lot of restrictions when breathing, you loosen this nut. In the case of a free-flowing regulator, what you do will be to tighten this nut. It's actually this simple to increase the movement needed for the regulator to free-flow or reduce the problem from the second stage. All right, and now down to our very last point. Now we have known how to troubleshoot the gauge, the second stage. Next thing, sometimes when you attach your first stage onto the tank, you realize that it is leaking. So every time the first thing that we will check is always the tank valve. We will check the O-ring on the tank valve, whether it is damaged or it's not present. All right, uh, and sometimes after checking the tank, everything is okay, but it is actually still leaking. So what we have next thing is to check the first stage. So if you see this over here, all right, it is actually it can actually be screwed on or off. All right. So for this, you actually need a wrench, adjustable wrench. All right. So right now, what I will do is I will loosen this. Okay. So sometimes this this nut here actually comes loose. And that is the reason why your first stage keeps leaking. So what you do is check this, make sure it is properly tightened. All right, you can just use a adjustable wrench. All right, and if you tighten, it should not be leaking. Unless if you open this up and internally there's an O-ring that is actually leaking. But for that, we will always recommend you to go to the professionals. So now we have learned how to troubleshoot the second stage, the first stage, the gauge. Alright, so these are actually some of the simple ways that you can actually check and troubleshoot your regulators without a lot of tools. So we hope this short little video was informative and also would help you in solving small problems you have with your regulators on your next dive trip. And if your regulators are due for servicing, you can actually drop us a text or an email over here saying you want to service your regulators and we will have it all sorted for you before your next dive trip. In the meantime, stay home, stay safe during this period of time and wait for our next dive trip. Thank you very much.